Welcome back to our conversation with Peter Cohen of Babson College. He's the author of Scaling Your Startup, Mastering the Four Stages from Idea to $10 Billion. And Peter, one of the big financial stories of the last few weeks has been the collapse of WeWork, the commercial real estate company that uh, sets up shared workspaces. Uh, they do a lot, of, a lot of startups and so forth. They've been one of the big stars on the, on the, on the scene, and they've been exposed as kind of a potential Temkin Village here, yes. reminiscent of Theranos, yes. the Elizabeth Holmes, the blood thinner company that yes. didn't even have a viable product to yes. sell, uh, yes. even though they claimed they did. Yes. What's the moral of the story about the economic environment we're living in? Well, um, they're very different cases, and I, yeah. I've written a lot about both of them. Um, but, I mean, Theranos was essentially a very charismatic CEO who was able to talk um, something like uh, $9 billion worth of capital, I'm sorry, $900 million worth of capital out of some very wealthy investors yeah. because of her great selling skills. And also that's very similar to Adam Newman who started WeWork. I mean, the difference between the two is that um, Theranos was never able to come up with a real product, whereas at least um, Adam Newman and WeWork had real office space that they were cutting up into little pieces and, and renting out. The basic problem is that this is a business that's a, a terrible industry. It's a massive money-losing business. They, you know, they, for every dollar of revenue they generate, they lose almost a dollar um, on, in cash flow and, and net income. So it's a terrible business, but at least it's real compared to Theranos. Um, but the real problem is that there is a huge amount of capital from an, a venture capital firm called SoftBank, which has this thing called the Vision Fund, which has $100 billion uh, in money from places like the Saudi, Saudi Arabian uh, Sovereign Wealth Funds um, that just keeps throwing more and more money into companies. And this isn't the the only one. I mean, they also threw a huge amount of money into Uber, which are money losing companies that uh, are grow really fast by uh, pricing their product uh, way below their costs. So their prices are so low that people yeah. you know, sign up for it and they hope that they'll be able to take the company's public, make a huge return on their investment when they sell to the public, and then the public will be left holding the bag. Now, in the case of WeWork, what happened was that um, SoftBank invested in the company and the valuation in January was $47 billion. Um, they couldn't do an initial public offering because of how much money they were losing, and now it's valued at $8 billion, and overall, SoftBank is throwing in roughly $18 billion worth of capital and debt to keep this company going. Boy. A complete catastrophe, which is uh, you know, casting a pall over all of the venture capital industry and all of IPOs, is whether any of these companies actually have a path to profitability. Wow. So buyer beware, big time. Exactly. So we, we have very little time left, but I did want to ask you a little bit about the rise of Senator Elizabeth Warren yes. to arguably the front runner in the Democratic field. Yes. And the reaction of Wall Street and financial markets. Yes. I mean, they've had an antagonistic relationship. Mm -hmm. What do you make of the outcry and the hand-wringing that the sky is falling because of Elizabeth Warren? Yes, I do think that there's a lot of uh, Wall Street uh, plutocrats who are really uh, com com communicating fear yeah. uh, about her. Um, because she has very coherent policies that are related to taxing them, breaking up um, some of the bigger tech companies, right. uh, you know, hurting uh, the private equity industry. Um, there's, there's a lot of money being made on Wall Street and all these things, and, and, she, and she's scaring them. Um, part of me is thinking, um, if you tr are trying to win the nomination uh, in a party, you need to tack to the extreme ends of your party in order to get nominated. And then if you really are serious about getting elected, you have to recognize you have to go to the middle. So you suspect that may, that's what we may see happen with the Warren campaign? I think so. If they, if they continue to succeed? Yes. It'll bear watching. Peter, thanks very much. Thank you for having me. Always great to have you. Come Thank back you. again soon. I would love to, yeah. Peter Cohen of Babson College. That's all my time. Now I'm going to send it back over to my colleagues for more WBZ News.